Hello everybody, my name is Parker Wynode and today I'm going to show you how to use the universal control. The first thing you need to know is the master sound. The master sound controls everything. There are dials with pulsating lights bouncing. Each line is different. ThinkTech was able to label each dial. Mic 1 to 4 are the ones that show individuals. Console mic is the microphone coming from the TriCaster area. Alexa is the black box on the stool. If it's Skype show, then there is also a setting for Skype. To select an aux mix, go to the button called Mixes. There you can rename the mixes by clicking on each and every mix you require. Then go to the master sound on that mix. This will help you find the correct mix when needed. You can also copy and paste mixes from the main to the presets by pressing the button that says Copy Mix. This will be a shortcut to get it quickly and easier. Settings on the top right is for basic modifications such as editing your work area. By selecting solo on any of the sound bars, it will eliminate all other sounds so it's just that individual sound. The meter bridge on the button will show you where you are on the mixer. The mixes are different presets. The main and mono never change no matter which mix you are in. So if you look at this picture, a compressor will detect when a signal is loud. The compressor trims down the sound. Some of the things in the compressor is the threshold. It sets the level for when the gate will open above. The attack is how fast the gate will open. Hold is how long the gate will open. Release is how quickly the gate will close. Range is, it will control how much sound gets in after the gate is closed. So now we move on to compressor. Threshold, it sets the threshold when it's going to start first. The ratio, for example, this is a little complicated, but for example, the compressor is at one and one. That will not do anything. If you set it to four, only two TB will come out. Attack and release, just set it to auto. Gain, gain brings up the level and makes it smoother. Overall, it makes your sound not as sharp. The EQ, just turn it up to the volume so it's smooth. The equalizer has an important purpose. It's to control the tremble, or as many people like to call it, bass. Also, if there are a lot of frequencies, the equalizer will help adjust the levels to normal. That's how you use the universal control. Thanks for watching. I'm Parker Wagnold. See you.